हेलो एवरीवन आज हम डिस्कवरी ऑफ एक्सरे डिस्कस करने वाले थे डिस्कवरी ऑफ एक्सरे रोंजन इज द नेम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट इन 1895 ही वाज डिस्कवर द एक्सरे रोंजन वाज स्टडिंग द फिनोमेना ऑफ डिस्चार्ज डिस्चार्ज मींस दैट इज अलाउड टू लिव तो फिनोमेना ऑफ डिस्चार्ज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी through the rear field gases a rear field means less dense gas they are filled on a discharge tube so this is the discharge tube in this tube they have filled the less dense gas and he was applying the high potential high potential he was found that when the pressure so he was changing the pressure inside the gas of in the order of 0.001 mm of mercury 0.001 mm of mercury and electric discharge is passed between the cathode and anode so here what will happen when he was decreasing the pressure at that time the electric discharge gate takes place from cathode to anode so cathode which is emitting the electrons and this electron are negatively charged particle and due to the high potential difference this electron negatively charged particle is attracted toward the positively charged plate that is the anode and they will collide on this anode due to this collision this anode get heated and also there is emitting the radiation also there is emitting the radiation and that radiation also due to this process what will happen the radiation are emitting in all direction in all direction so he also noticed that when the so here what will happen he maintained the pressure reduce the pressure 0.01 milli meter of mercury and electric discharge is passed between the cathode and anode so electrons are emitting from cathode and attracted towards the anode he was noticed that the glass wall behind the cathode the glass wall behind the cathode get behind the cathode get glow that is greenish yellow color so that behind the cathode that glass tube get greenish yellow he also noticed that when a chemical coated screen that is the fluorescent screen which is coated by barium platocyanide or zinc sulfide place close to the these experiments experimental setup close to the discharge tube the continued to glow or fluorescent even though the discharge tube was completely completely covered with a black paper so he noticed that when this glass this discharge tube was completely covered by a black paper even though the radiation are coming and they will fall on this fluorescent screen and this fluorescent screen when the radiation fall on this screen the screen get glow so scintillation is takes place and screen get glow if the thickness of covered black paper changes or that is increases so what will happen suppose we have covered the discharge tube and thickness of that black paper is increases 
the intensity of fluorescent was reduced the intensity of fluorescent was reduced but it not be cut off entirely it not be cut off entirely so here what will happen suppose here we have completely cover this discharge tube with different increasing thickness of the black paper even though the fluorescent intensity is reduced due to the thickness of black paper increases but it cannot entirely cut off so there may be a some glow is also present so ronjan concludes that the radiation coming from this anode and they will fall on the screen so scintillation is takes place and that screen get glow so he found that and this tube is completely covered with black paper this radiation is passing through that black paper and he concluded that that radiation which having the more penetration power more penetration power when a plate of iron so after that he put the plate of iron between the fluorescent screen so he put the iron plate between fluorescent screen and this discharge tube then the iron plate shadow was cast on the screen so shadow of shadow of iron plate was cast on the screen cast on the screen this shadow on a screen showing that certain radiation are coming out from the tube so certain radiation coming out from the tube and they are not penetrating through this iron plate after performing number of experiment or a series of experiment he concluded that due to the high potential due to the high potential difference between cathode and anode among the anode and cathode the beam of fast moving electron striking on a solid target that is the anode so here what will happen the due to the high potential the electrons coming to a very high velocity and they were they collide on a target material and due to target material they get heated the target material and some electrons get penetrated inside the atom of the anode so solid target that is anode and highly here what will happen certain radiation are coming out from the tube so here what will happen when a plate of iron was placed between fluorescent tube uh, sorry discharge tube and fluorescent screen then the iron plate shadow was cast on the screen this shadow on a screen show that the certain radiation are coming out from the tube after performing number of experiment series of experiment he concluded that due to the high potential among the cathode and anode the beam of fast moving electrons strike on a solid target and highly penetrating highly penetrating highly highly penetrating radiation are emitting in all direction and they will fall on a screen they will fall on the screen and that screen that fluorescent screen gate glow so he concluded that that radiation are highly penetrating invisible radiation that is not visible for human being were coming out from the tube coming out from that discharge tube when this coming out radiation fall on a fluorescent screen it get fluorescent it get fluorescent or glow due to this due to invisible and high penetrating power of this radiation ronjan called them as a x ray so that invisible and high penetration power radiation ronjan called them x rays 
actually the x-rays are electromagnetic radiation which having a high frequency that is the p is equal to h nu h is the Planck constant so high energy high frequency means high energy that is more energy and shorter wavelength so nu is equal to c by lambda in the shorter wavelength is there so high frequency is there and which having the speed 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second because all electromagnetic radiation which are in the same speed just there is the difference between wavelength and frequency so thank you for watching this video till to end thank you very much